guys, so I am back from the Dominican Republic. That is where I went from vacation. If you are wondering, I have a huge haul. I honestly shot this like three times now, and now I'm figuring out I'm going to have to do this in two parts because I can't just like talk about things, like just say what it is and then stop. Like I have to like kind of swatch it and like talk about it. So this is going to be in two parts. This is part one. Um, this is going to be mainly like bath and body care kind of products, and then I also have some nail polish. So um, this is like face products, some hair products, just not makeup. But, um, and then also nail polish. So, and then part two is going to be makeup and stuff, which you guys will be see coming up soon. So, yeah. Oh, well, actually, I got back from the Dominican Republic yesterday, and I went to Walmart with my mom to grocery shop, and, um... I ended up, I needed a few things, and then I wanted a few things, and then this kind of shopping trip, which, including the part two part where I'm talking about makeup, these are things that I have wanted to try, or wanted to get, or some of them I've needed to get, but mostly what I've wanted to try, but then I've overridden getting them for, like, something newer, or something a little less expensive, or something that I flat out just needed to get, and these are just things I wanted. So, yes, that is the main, why this is so huge. I have a lot of stuff in here. So, some of the things that I got are flat out random, like this. Bam! My mom has one like this, and it's basically just a loofah on a stick. Where else would you find this but Walmart? Then I picked up a hair product that I actually finished in an empties video that I shot yesterday, and I started editing it, and it was, like, way too long, but I tried to upload it to YouTube, and since it was too long, something happened, and it, like, got deleted, like, all the footage. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Couldn't upload it. And by then, I had already put my products in the trash, like the real trash with like actual like rotting food that had been there for a week since we were gone. But I'm sorry. Um, this is a Holy Grail hair, pro hair product for me. This is the Suave Kids Detangling Spray. It is raining so hard right now, you guys. You don't understand. It's literally like I'm like my house is under a waterfall. It's so dark out. That's why my lighting is different. Sorry, I meant to say this, but um. I have a lamp right here, like, behind the camera, and hopefully the lighting's okay. I meant to say that at the beginning. I've said that, like, three times in the other times I've shot this because I cannot get it right. Anyways, I love this stuff. This is a really awesome detangler, detangler even though it is for kids. I am, like, talking way too fast. Um, and it smells amazing. This is also supposed to be, or it is hypoallergenic and alcohol-free, so it's tear-free for the children. So apparently if you get this in your eye, it won't hurt. Or as much as it would normally and it has a cute little octopus on the front who can beat that then i got a maybelline product this is the clean express makeup remover and it's for waterproof makeup waterproof eye makeup and it's oil free so um i've been needing a liquid makeup remover half the time i will use a makeup wipe um and then i will completely like need like tiny like two square inches more to get off like a tiny bit more mascara or to take off my eyebrow powder or, or something so that's annoying but gotta do what you gotta do um so i picked this up and i don't think it was too expensive and it's really cute look at it it's pink first of all and then the cap is really interesting and cute then i got some makeup remover wipes that's why i reached over here a second ago um these are the equate beauty makeup removing cleansing towelettes and you're supposed to compare these to the neutrogena ones i have tried the Neutro neutrogena ones a few times but i've only used one of these so i don't know how comparable they are but yeah, this is pretty inexpensive and it has a nice little actual like plastic clicker lid, not like just stickiness that's supposed to hold it together, so that's always convenient. Then, I was in need of some face and body exfoliants, so I picked up the two Neutrogena products. Actually, almost everything I have left is Neutrogena. But um, this is the Body Clear Body Wash Pink Grapefruit Clears Body Breaks out, Breakouts 100 percent naturally derived grapefruit extract by Neutrogena. I've been needing a body exfoliant. I finished mine, so excited to try this. Haven't tried it yet, and it, but it does smell really, really good, and I thought it would be nice and refreshing for the summer. So, um, also, I'm hoping to do a skincare video soon, um, I, but I'm still kind of filling in gaps of things that I either finished up, like high-end, I have a few high-end products, such as my Shiseido moisturizer that I finished that I really, really loved, and I heard that this is supposed to be comparable to it, so I'm still kind of filling in some of the gaps of products that I either hadn't finished and they're too expensive to rebuy, or that I hadn't I finished, but I was like, eh, I can find something better, but this is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer, and it's oil-free. Um, this is supposed to soak in really, really fast, which is awesome, and it's, from what I've touched it and felt it and stuff, I haven't used this on my face yet, but from, like, feeling it and stuff, it feels exactly like my Shiseido, so I'm really excited, and it smells like cucumbers, and it smells amazing, so super excited to try this out on my face. And I also got a new pro another new product to me, which is the oil-free acne wash for, uh, uh, from Neutrogena, sorry. 
and it is a daily scrub and I need a more gentle exfoliator for my face because otherwise I start either breaking out or my face gets really irritated so I'm excited to try this and it seems like the little scrubbies aren't too big so I'm excited to try that out and see what's happening with this product. Then I got a Neutrogena toner. I love this. This is the alcohol free toner. This is like my whole year toner and I really like it and it won't strip skin's natural moisturizers. Neutrogena. My camera died. Um, pretty awesome. I was gone long enough to paint my nails with one of my nail polishes that I got. What did I show you? Okay, so now on to nail polish and then this video is almost done. I have five nail polishes. I got a few from the Maybelline Color Show line. Um, some of the Maybelline Color Show ones. And I actually had time to paint my nails with one of them. So the first one is just from the original um, collection line sort of thing. And this is what it looks like. It is gorgeous. It's on my nails. I actually painted my nails with it while I was waiting for my camera to charge. Um, and this is in the shade Pacific Blues 985. This is so gorgeous. I am so excited to continue to wear this, see how it lasts. I, it almost looks like this is a matte finish. It's definitely a cream um, and it dries pretty fast too, so I was impressed with this. And I'm excited to try the other two which I, that I got. Um, I got one from the Holographic line. And this is in the shade Alluring Rose 15. And this is like a gold color with some pinky kind of holographic kind of things and different lighting. So this is really cool. And by the way, these are only like 2 or $3 at Walmart at least. I'm pretty sure, I feel like they're a lot more expensive, like 5 or $6 at like CVS. But at Walmart they were only 2 or $3. And then I got one from the Polka Dots line in Pretty and Polka. And this is just a really pretty purple and pink. And there's some white and a little bit of black. There's a lot of different speckles of color in here. And I'm wondering if this is going to be really sheer with Polka Dots. Or if this is like a thick opaque polish with Polka Dots. I'll have to let you guys know. Or if you guys know, let me know in the comments. But I'm excited to try this out. And then last but not least, I got two Sinful Colors nail polishes. Now I've been really wanting to get a few lighter colored nail polishes to hopefully make me look a little bit tan, um, but the first one that I got is just a white nail polish because I am almost out of my, um, I have one from Milani that I really like, but it's running out and I'm, their nail polishes are a little more, uh, more expensive than Sinful Colors. So I got one in the shade Snow Me White 101, which is just a true white color from what I can tell, and it doesn't look like there's any shimmer. I'm hoping it's just a pretty opaque, creamy, white color. And then um, I got another one, which is like a really, like, basically this exact same color with like a drop of pink in it. It's just a really, really light, light, light pink. You might not, not blah, blah. You might not even be able to tell that there is pink in here, and it's in the shade Easy Going 300. I just thought this was really pretty. So that is all for part one of my little haul. Like I said earlier, I was trying to film this two different times before I decided to split it up into two parts. I really didn't want it for it to be in two parts, but it kind of had to be that way. Otherwise, it was going to be like 17 minutes long. So yes, that is all. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. And once I upload my part two, I will link it in the down bar of this video as well as this video linked in the down bar of the other video. So make sure to keep tuned, or stay tuned, for part two of this haul, which will be all makeup items. Thanks for watching. Bye.